J.D. Vance has fiercely accused Kamala Harris of deceit, particularly in her efforts to mask Joe Biden's mental deterioration. This alleged concealment has, according to Vance, left America exposed to the whims of tyrants like Vladimir Putin, Xi Jinping, and Kim Jong-un. And most dishonest thing that Kamala Harris has done, and it is a long list, my friends, is that she helped cover up Joe Biden's declining mental capacity for years. It's actually sad. Putin, Xi, Kim Jong-un, all these dictators, they have been sitting in private rooms for three and a half years, licking their chops because we have a president who can't actually do the job. Now, anyone who's too blind to see Biden's incompetence or too dishonest to admit it is not fit to serve as commander in chief. She lied to us. She lied to all of us. And it's unacceptable. And, you know, they never give. Vance's fiery denunciation underscores a core conservative principle, transparency and leadership. For conservatives, honesty from their leaders is paramount, and any cover-up is seen as a profound betrayal of the public's trust. By highlighting the perceived vulnerability of the U.S. to foreign dictators, Vance taps into the conservative emphasis on robust national security. This issue resonates deeply with the public as any suggestion that the president is not fully capable of fulfilling his duties could threaten the nation's safety and stability. The critique of Biden's supposed cognitive decline aligns with the conservative call for competent and vigorous leadership, valuing strength and capability in leaders, both domestically and on the global stage. 